What's up guys? It's Chad with Living the Van Life up here in Washington. I've got one question for you guys. How many times have you heard me talk about the Mr. Buddy Heater here on this channel? I'm sure you guys have been tired of hearing me talk about it. The truth of the matter is, this thing has served its freaking purpose since I initially made the purchase back in 2011. This thing's been with me eight years. It's worked nonstop. It's been a champion. But it is time to say goodbye. Honestly, guys, this whole game of winter camping is about to change. Thanks to you guys here on Living the Van Life. All of you guys that have been commenting in the comments down below, talking about these diesel heaters that are now available from China. Yeah, sure, as soon as you hear China or Chinese, red lights go off. It's gotta be too good to be true. At $150 from Amazon, I figure you just can't go wrong. It's at least worth a try. I've hit YouTube, I've hit Google, I've been looking for anybody else using one of these diesel heaters in a Vanagon Westphalia, and I can't find anybody doing it. I wanna be able to show you guys here on the Living the Van Life channel all about it. Does it work? Does it work when it's 10 degrees Fahrenheit outside? Is it gonna work in the most extreme conditions? because guys, that's what we like to do here is push the limits and see how deep and how far into those cold weather scenarios that we can get. This video today is only an unboxing of the heater. It just arrived in UPS from Amazon today. I'm gonna do a three-part series. The first one's gonna be an unboxing. Then the next video, we're gonna do an install video. We're gonna show you guys where we're gonna put this thing inside the Westphalia. And then from there, Anne is showing up from Australia. She's never seen snow before. She's never been to America. She's never camped in a van. So it's gonna be the ultimate test of the diesel heater to see if it can keep up with the cold Pacific Northwest temperatures up in the Cascade Mountains and see if it can keep Anne nice and warm and comfortable. So guys, stay tuned for more videos coming up. At this point, let's check out the heater. Let's do a little bit of an unboxing here. Okay, right off the top, one thing that I saw when I was reading all the reviews on Amazon, on YouTube, online, uh, people were talking about the fact that it didn't really come with any instructions. So, I don't know, right here on top is a manual for it. I haven't gone into the details, obviously, to see how thorough the instructions are, but who knows? Might be some good insight of how to install this thing. I think one of the biggest things when people started recommending a diesel heater in my van, my biggest question was like, well, my van is gas powered. What am I gonna do for a diesel source? These heaters actually come with a 10 liter diesel tank that you can install in your van. This is one of the biggest challenges that I feel like I'm gonna face in this is deciding where to put this diesel source so that it's in a safe, non-obtrusive spot. Nonetheless, there it is, diesel tank. This is the base plate for the diesel heater. The great thing about this heater is the fact that for the internal combustion portion of the heater, all the harmful fumes and exhaust is going outside of the van. I believe this is one of the base plates for mounting this to the floor. So I'm not gonna get into too much detail. I want this to be a short, quick video. But essentially this box is all the hardware that you're gonna need to install this into a van type situation. All the way down to the heating ducts. It comes with two of the heating vents. It's got a wire, a splitter, so you can run your heating duct into two different positions for two different outlets. It's got a wiring harness. It's all fitted with all the proper connections. Looks pretty well built. It's all bundled up here nicely, so that's gonna be necessary for hooking up the wiring. A whole bag of miscellaneous hardware. Lots of hose clamps, a filter. I'm guessing that's gonna go between the uh, diesel tank and the actual heater itself. It looks like the mount for your fuel pump which is gonna also gonna go between the tank and the heater. This is gonna be your heater ducting. It's gonna distribute the heat that the heater's producing. Two of those. I believe this is going to be the intake of the heater. This is going to be distributed down through the bottom of the van so that it's pulling fresh air from the outside. That's gonna be for the internal combustion part of it. This is going to be your exhaust for the internal combustion portion of it. And this is what's gonna be fed again through the bottom of the van to the outside so that you're exhausting all of the fumes outside of the van and not inside. Looks like a roll of fuel line. 
Uh, that's going to be from your fuel source into the input of the diesel heater. So that does it for that box. I'm guessing this is what we're looking for, guys. Let's get rid of this up front. Actually got some weight to it in this thing. Before I dig into this, it looks like here is the digital LCD thermostat control unit for it. This thing evidently is all set up to be able to program what time you want your heater to turn on. If you're planning on waking up at seven in the morning, you wanna start the heater at 6.30 to get the van nice and warm before you get up out of bed, that little unit right there is gonna do that for you. My understanding it is also a thermostat as well, so you could set it for a specific temperature so that the heater will turn on and turn off depending on what the temperature is. So LCD thermostat control comes with it. This is going to be your fuel pump from your fuel source, whether you have a diesel van and you can pull from the actual onboard diesel tank, or you have the external one like what came with the unit, this is your fuel pump. Okay, and right there is the actual heater unit. The weight to this thing, actually I'm pretty surprised. So what we've got here guys is a diesel heater. It's powered off of diesel. It is designed to operate off of a 12 volt system. This one is a 5kW. I did some research and 5kW, 5 kilowatts, is about equivalent to about 17,000 BTUs. One of the things that I was always excited about with my big buddy heater, it's an 18,000 BTU. So with this one being rated at 5kW, approximately 17,000 BTUs, then I am hoping that this is gonna keep up with my cold weather camping, just like the Big Buddy heater did. Fingers crossed that those specs that are listed online actually do hold true. Happy buy, 5KW, 12 volt diesel heater. You guys have been talking about this on my comments. You guys have been suggesting this item. I felt inspired by you guys to jump on board with this thing and give it a shot. Fingers crossed that if anything does go wrong that Amazon's willing to stand behind it or the company that actually built it. Nonetheless, for 150 bucks, you can't really go wrong. One thing that I do wanna mention, guys, several times in the video I said $150. Uh, it is actually $169.99. It's free shipping on Amazon. So I just wanted to make that clear that it is uh, it is actually $169.99. I'm really hoping that this is going to change the game for me when it comes to winter camping. The Mr. Buddy heater's been great, but I tell you what, last night camping up in the snow, the amount of moisture that was inside the van, it was really getting to the point where it's just not good for the van, the amount of moisture that the propane heater is putting into it. From what I've heard, the reviews on this, uh, is the fact that this really helps dry the air. I really feel like that's going to be a bonus for my situation here and being able to have a nice dry heat for inside the van. The fact that we'll be able to turn the heat on at a specific time, have it programmed. This thing should be safe enough that we should be able to run it at any point in time uh, throughout the night, throughout the day. It's, it's just a much safer way of heating your van, your vehicle, whatever it may be. Stay tuned for the install video that will be coming next. We're gonna go tonight and start installing it, get this thing all wired up, see if we can fit it into the van. And then like I said, guys, to test this thing, we're gonna get Ann out into the snow. It's summertime for those guys down there in Australia. Hopefully this setup is going to keep her nice and warm. Stay tuned for that video. If you're interested in this product, I'm gonna post a link to where I bought it from on Amazon down below. If it's something you're interested in buying, click that link down below. That gives me a, uh, a little bit of a kickback to help support me and my YouTube channel and bringing you guys these videos. If you found this video helpful, click the like button. If you've got any other ideas or suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. If you're not a subscriber to the channel yet, hit the subscribe button. Nonetheless, guys, peace out and keep on trucking.